Hi, I'm Ray, and this is my vegetable garden. And this channel is all about growing your own fruit and vegetables with some flowers and some projects on the way. But today, we're going to make a strawberry bed. And we've got some old crates, and we're going to make a strawberry bed out of the old crates. So let me show you what we're going to do today. So you may have seen me fill up this crate using the Hugo culture method and now we've got our second crate and we've joined in together to make one long long strawberry bed so now we need to fill up the second bit and make our strawberry bed let me show you what we've done So this was the Hugo culture bed that we made in a previous video and we'll show you how we filled this up but one mistake I did and within a week or so showed what a difference it's made by not putting a stretcher in the two crates so we've had to redig some of the soil up and add a stretcher in between the two as it was about two inches bowed either side so uh, we've completed that and we can cover that back up now so the second crate arrived this weekend and now we can fill it up with the contents of the path and this will clear the path too We've got a small gap in between and we're going to fill it up with another crate and we're going to make all one long crate. So using the same boards from a third crate that's been taken apart we've now joined four battens in each corner and we've lined up the boards to make one long one long bed. So this is running along the back of my garden and it will make a nice border along the edge. So we've got a path going down the side and it will be good now when it's wet rainy days we can still walk along the path. So now we need to fill up these boards and as unlike the first bed we made we've actually added in the stretcher in advance and I've also just added a few of these offcuts to keep all these panels together so now we need to fill it up and we're going to use the grass from the paths and we're going to turn them upside down and we can fill up these beds. So on this crate I've added two more supports on the side and we've got the supports on the outside which are already there and then ones in the middle. That's going to give it some extra strength. Now we've got to fill it up. So let's do that.
So, that's all the path. Oh, uh, that was a struggle. So the path, and it's now now in the bed. So I just need to sort these out a bit. And then we can add a, another layer on top. So I'm just going through turning the soil, turning the grass so it's upside down and then it can rot down on its own accord. I'm just going to make myself some good compost. at the end of the day. So I'm so pleased we've done this. It's cleared all this grassy soil and it's also filled up my bed for nothing. Whew. Good. There's even some little worms in it, so they can do their stuff too. Whew. So the next layer I'm going to add is my old runner beans. They've just about had it, and now it's time to clear up. And these are going to join the top of the pile. So that's just going to be spread about. And then this bed, we're adding the purple beans. And this one. We saved the seeds, so there's no need to worry about that. And we're just going to cover up. Top of the beans with a bit of the old compost. We're now covering with the cardboard. And now we can water the cardboard down and we can 
start filling it up. Final stage is then to add our soil on top. And this is just straight from the allotment plot. I'm going to read it as we go. So, here's the bed, nearly full, and this, this is only for strawberries, the soil doesn't have to be 100% great. Well, it's filled up and there's not that much that will settle in this bed. It will go down when the board beans, the runner beans, decay. Otherwise, not much more than what it is now. So, this is a great way for filling up a bed for absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. So the final layers, I've topped it up really tall and I'm just standing on it. Pressing it down firm. I'm firming it off. Good bit of exercise too. So for this strawberry bed, I'm going to use this membrane. And we're going to cut the holes out for the strawberries. So we're just going to cut it to length.
for the length of the bed. And then we can tuck it into the edges of the bed. And we push it down and we do the same on the other side and we get it tight. And we're just going to go along with our staple gun. And we staple all the way along. So I have stapled some of these along the line but the stapler is not performing great so I've switched to a button. So I'm going to cut some lengths of button and then the button's going to go inside the frame holding the fabric in place like so. so I'm going to use these bits, I'm just going to cut them to length and we'll have to make do with what we got on the allotment. So that'll work. So we're just pre-drilling our holes And all the buttons, this will save the wood from splitting when we add our screws. And I'll continue around the rest of the bed doing the pilot holes. So when you're on the allotment, you're going to use So we've nearly completed all the way around and we've been pulling it tight as we go and this border is actually a much better way than doing it with the staples as this has really pulled it in tight. So just 
Two more to do. Come on on the end. And that's it. That's a pretty good bed. I'm well pleased with that. Yeah. Good. So now we've got our bed and the membrane over the top and this will let the water through and the weeds are not going to come through and we did add the cardboard on top so now we've got our strawberry runners which we grew on and now these can just be placed through the membrane All the way along as we go. So, how many have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There'd be room for 15 strawberry plants in the bed, all for free. Free pallet, free soil, all good. So now we're going to make a lid with a netted cover. So we've used some more panels of another strip crate and these are just going to be slotted into here. This is the end and these can go lift out. I've left the lips purposely so we can lift the cover on and off. Unfortunately, the pallet I'm using is a bit too short, so I've had to join it up, but it's still do the job. So we're going to screw these together and we'll make our lid. So I'm just screwing the four corners together and it's going to make my lid that I can lift on and off. So I've done all four corners and I know it fits. So I'm doing the last corner. And then that's done. So that's it. So that's our bed with a lid that fits snugly onto the frame. Not going to move. And now we need some bars or framework go around the outside and then our strawberries are snugly inside. So for the hoops we are going to use our MD PE pipe and we're just going to put it into the corners and screw them in. 
we can get some brackets to maybe screw these in we can just screw the pipe directly into the board itself and we can lift up take our strawberries and put them back down again that's going to work really well And then they can be added straight in. And this one. we have and we can continue this all the way down like so so not quite finished but this is what we are aiming for and it's going to look nice at the back of my allotment plot. So, just one morning on the allotment, we managed to fill our crate. We've laid our membrane. We've made our lid. We're not covering it as yet, as we're going to find a nice dry day and we're going to paint all the beds into the allotment colours and we will finish putting this netting on and finish installing the hoops but at the end of the morning it's been a good day and we've got a bit done so thank you very much for watching and Look forward to getting the strawberries after this in the summer. And it's going to be so much easier just to lift up and put back down again. Thank you very much. Cheers. So this is my strawberry bed from last year and this will be dug up now and the strawberries will be allocated elsewhere. So really pleased with what we've done so far. And we just need to copy the same on the first Hugo culture bed. So thank you for watching and if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and ring that bell. Get notifications when I post some more. So do any of you do your strawberries in a raised bed? It's got to be better than in the soil than we did last year and they all got eaten by slugs. So this is the new plan and eventually these are going to get painted all brown and we're going to put a cover over the top. So that's for another day. But it's just started raining now so we're going to pack up and get going. But really please 
for how these are going to go. So look forward to some nice strawberries next year. Cheers!